Hey you lovely lot and welcome back to my YouTube channel Sezzy Bella, thanks for tuning in. Today's video is a bit of a crazy one, I let the kids go crazy in the toy shop so you can imagine I've got a lot of things to show you. I hope you enjoyed today's video, remember if you do, thumbs up, like, subscribe and let's get on with the video. Hey lovelies and welcome back to my YouTube channel Sezzy Bella, thanks for tuning in. If you are new here, hi I am Sarah aka Sezzy Bella. Uh, my channel is all about fashion hauls, uh, food hauls, lifestyle hauls, being a mummy, having a child with special needs. We do videos on our, our day to day lives with that and um, loads of other things but welcome to my channel i am also 24 weeks pregnant and one day so i'm now six months pregnant i have loads of pregnancy videos and i've got loads more to come so if you are mom to be or pregnant at the moment do stay tuned for that i hope you enjoy them videos but today's video so i have got my lovely stand the man with me hello <laughs> uh we i i decided okay so lockdown's over I'm going to treat the kids. We went to our local Westfield and basically I let the kids go crazy in the toy shops. We went to the entertainer and we went to the Disney shop. I just let them roam free. So get whatever you want. It's mummy's treat. And they didn't disappoint. Stan is in the video today because Stan did very, very well in the shops. Um... So we took Avery and Sky in there as well, and they got a few things, but they weren't too fussed. Like, they liked being out more than actually buying things, but Stan, he found so much that he liked, and bless him, he's in my video today. So let's start off with Stan's favourite, favourite thing. Come on. So the first thing I'm going to show you, it is from The Entertainer. How much was that? Stan? 60. It was 60 pound. 60. Yes, 60. 60. It is a Nerf gun. You see in the movies where you get the, the bad guy or, or the good guy and they click a button and they go into some secret room and they've got all their weapons lined up and just, just some big chamber. John Wick style. Stan could easily do that with all his Nerf guns and bullets and the crossbow. He's got so much. He's got a really, really good collection and he saw this one and he, he couldn't help himself. He, he had to get another one. So, <laughs> what is this one called, Stan? It's a grenade launcher from Fortnite. Grenade launcher from Fortnite. It is massive. Look at that. That is crazy. He got this out of the box yesterday. He wanted to have a go with it. And he's been absolutely loving it. The box was really big. That and um, because from yesterday holding the box, I like, gave me an arm ache. I'll show you how big the box is. Let's go and get the box. Yeah, this is heavier than it looks. It is very very heavy, but he really really loves it. He's got a really good collection of Nerf guns. Um, some of them are Fortnite style, and uh, he had got he's got a crossbow one that um, Santa girlfriend a few years ago, and um, loads of other ones and. You got the box, yeah? yeah? So the box is crazy, crazy big. So this is the box that Stan held. I'm gonna drop things out of it. Yeah, all the way home. I can get it in all my shot. That is how big it is. <laughs> it is crazy. But that is the first toy that we wanted to show you. You put the box back and I will start with the next toy. I'm going to put a link for everything in the description below if you want to get it for yourself. It is from the Entertainer or from the Disney shop. The gun is from the Entertainer, £60, Fortnite Nerf style gun. I, I don't know. He's obsessed with Fortnite. Right, so the next thing. there I do have two massive bags here, so let me show you. So we've got our Disney shop one. And we have got... Our entertainer one and I picked a pair of pink bag because I love these bags and I always reuse them for the girlies with um just bits and bobs I run around the house. It is a bit muddled up, so I'm gonna have to say where everything is from when I pick it up. But the next so that was the first thing we wanted to show you. The second thing is Stan's Pop Spider-Man Miles Morales. I have got quite a few of these myself. I am collecting them and Stan loves them as well. So any chance he gets to get one that he likes. 
By the way, it's from the entertainer. It oh. is. See, you don't need me to tell you, do you? <laughs> it is from the entertainer. And how much was this one? I'm uh, about. I'm gonna be checking the price. It might. It might be in front. No, I don't, no, think, I don't think it has the price. But... I'm gonna have to find the receipt. I hmm. think it was ten pound, but I will put a link below in the description. But that is the next thing that Stan got. He loves this one because it's his favourite, favourite skin for Mars Morales. And that is the next toy I wanted to show you. Okay, next one is... You're going to notice a theme with Stan, by the way. It's going to be Fortnite or Superhero. So the next one, this is from... Where is this? From a Disney shop, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, from Disney, Disney shop. shop. And it was on sale from £20 to 14 And it is Mar Marvel Marvel's Kang, Kang Legend yeah. Series. Yeah, he basically Kang. He's from my one of my favorite Avengers shows. I'm a Earth my is heroes. I'm a he's like the main bad guy in it. The main bad guy. My lighting mm. is terrible, but he absolutely loves his action figures. He's got a shelf in his room that is got just it's full of action DC Marvel figures. Uh, as I said, this one was in the sale. It was fourteen pound. Can't go wrong with a with a bargain. And then there's more on the back. And that is the next thing I wanted to show you. <laughs> My nose is so runny today. Oh, right, right, lovely. So the next thing Stan got was this llama. It is from Fortnite. So you see in Fortnite, I'm, I'm getting up to date with it now. You get chests in it, and you also get these llamas that give you things in the game, um, building stuff, guns, bullets. All that lovely stuff in it. This llama is from the entertainer shop and it was £20. And Stan is going to read out to you what you get in this one. Okay, so first thing, you get a 4 inches Darth Voyager figure, a grappler, rocket launcher, submachine gun, guided missile, suppressed heavy assault rifle, heavy sniper rifle, combat submachine gun, burst assault rifle, crossbow, double barrel shotgun, bamboo backling, Boombox backling, dark bag backling, an iron cage backling, eight building materials, and the last thing is a collector's guide. So as you see, you get quite a lot in this tiny little llama, and he really likes it as well because it has little confetti on it. Quite a cool little toy. Hmm. Right, the next thing, so this one is from... The Disney shop and this one was also on sale and one of the figures has just come out yeah it was really like that was it mm -hmm. okay so this one was 40 pound and we got it for 32 and it is the infinity saga so it's all the superheroes that was in the film and it also includes some of the, the people by in the black Bear movie no we don't know I thought this was really, really good for the sale. They had so much things on sale in the Disney shop right at the front uh, for girls and boys. Really good collection there. So I recommend you've got a Disney shop around you. Near you, sorry. I'd definitely go and have a look. But it's really, really cool. Mm. Oh, I know, so I can't wait to open this one. Oh, that, yeah, that's my second favourite. That's your second favourite, yeah. Okay, first. But really, really good. Even for £40, there is a lot. There is. I'll just sell the front for an attempt to count all of them. No. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. So there's 20 figures in there. Wait, did you count the one that. Um, uh, that, 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 that fell? Yeah. Yeah, I counted that okay. one. Yeah. 20 action figures. £32. Really, really good. If you've got a Marvel fan in your home, I would totally recommend getting this one. Right, we're sticking with Stan quite a lot because the big he got the big big boxes, and that's what's drawn to me to pick them ones up. So this one is also from the Disney shop, and they also have my receipt with me, so I can tell you that this one was twenty pound. And it is a, a Marvel Avengers, uh, is it Hawkeye's? Yeah, Hawkeye's bow. Hawkeye's bow and arrow. arrow. See how big it is? I can't even see it in the screen. Really, really cool, isn't it, Stan? Mm -hmm. It comes with six arrows. Yeah, mm -hmm. so the six arrows are there. And there's this button, um, uh, but, but when you're holding it, there's a button, and when you press it, um, uh, it extends. 
bow extends, yeah? Uh-huh, and when you push it down, if you want to shrink it, you just have to push it down, then when you release, it stays. Pretty cool. How cool is that? Absolutely amazing. Digi Shop did not disappoint when it came to style. <laughs> Never does. Okay, so now girly girlies. For Sky, because she is obsessed with drawing, I was at the till and I saw these books. And at first when I saw them, I thought they were the Disney Prince actual Disney Princess's actual story in the book. But it turned out just to be paper in here that you can draw or write on. And with Sky, she really likes drawing. And at the moment, I'm trying to teach her to spell her name and write her name. And I thought... How gorgeous does that look, first of all? It looks like, you know, in the film, when they're about to start the story and they turn the page, that the actual book looks like that. The Saving Beauty one, I thought, was absolutely beautiful. And this one was originally £25, and I got it for £17.50. She absolutely loves it. She was holding it in the pram the whole time. I just thought it was a really, really cute book, and it feels really, really lovely as well. And the gems are really nice at the front. I saw Pinocchio and I actually thought it was the real story. Exactly. They look that doesn't that look like it'd be the actual story, like a hardback Disney princess story. But no, it's got lined paper with Aurora in the corner. And this guy could draw and maybe start to write and do her doodles. But I just thought it was really, really cute. Absolutely loved it. For my little Ava Ava, so she's quite sensory based and she really, really likes her um, bath toys. I saw these, so they're called um, Frozen Bath Set Figures. So it includes bucket with straining lid and five figures. So you can use the bucket um, in the bath. And I, th I think you could probably bring this to the beach as well, to be honest. But I got the Frozen one. They did have, I don't know if I can remember, they had a Winnie the Pooh themed one as well. But they've got all the Frozen characters in there. And I know she's going to love to play with these in the bath. But they are really, really cute. Something that she can get a lot of enjoyment out of. It's really hard to shop for Ava because half the time... Entertainer is quite good for her because um, they have a lot of sensory, and, uh, sensory toys in there. And um, like a toddler toys that she still really really likes and with um the with disney shop it's really hard to find her uh, things that i know 100 percent she will like i will either get her uh, rapunzel things um but she has pretty much got everything uh disney princess and just have like a little look around I always find bits and bobs but nothing like too crazy but i really thought that she would like this this one was 20 no it wasn't it was 16 pound I know she's going to love to play with this in the bath. Okay. Um, for Sky Sky, she's got a kitchen. Well, her and Ava both got a kitchen for Christmas. And I saw this Snow White set. And basically, you can make a pie. And it's got um, a, a wooden spoon and a rolling pin, a little apron, uh, sliced apples, egg. And it, I just, okay, so what is what you get in the pack at the back? It'll be easy to show you through there. That is what you get in it, so she can just make a pie. And I thought that apron was really, really cute. Ava really loves the pretend food as well, so I thought Ava could get some enjoyment out of this toy as well. But I just thought it was really cute. This one was £32. Oh, it's so cute. I love like the detail of the top of the pie up here. I just thought that was really, really sweet. And I don't think she has any like Snow White themed toys, both Ava and Sky. I just thought it was really cute. I think I've said that about three times now, but it is really, really cute. And I think that is all from Disney Shop. But I'm going to move on to my next bag because I said they both are mixed up. So let me switch the bags over. I'll take that one. Okay. So let's stick with the girlies at the moment. Right. So I took Ava's hand and we just had a look around the shop for both her and Skye. 
and I saw this little picnic basket. How adorable is that? I mean, so Sky's got this um makeup beauty set. And it's a, like a box with a handle, and she walks around the house with it like she's going to work. And I thought she'd really like this one. She could hold it and bring it outside, have like a tea party or a picnic. We could put some actual food in here for her. But I, I got really drawn to the basket. I just thought it was really cute. This is what you get in the basket there. <laughs> so it is some plates. So, we so plates, cups, um, and a kettle and spoons. Yeah. And it is good for imagination, social skills, and it is tea tin tea set for four picnic hamper perfect for tea parties and pretend picnic day this one where is my receipt so I think I've got here. this one was so tea set it was 22 pound but I'm, I'm planning to use it with both the goes i think they would both really really like this i'm going to attempt to do the tea party with both of them i've done one with sky but ava's not really been too keen into it and um, i'm also going to bring this out for a picnic for us as well i think they would really really enjoy this little set so gorgeous right the next thing i got for sky was it's a um so it's a mini artist from 18 months old. It's good for imagination, creativity, includes animal pens and stamper, and it is a My First Scribbler. She already has some of these, but I really liked the look of the pens as they look like they were really good um, for grip. And she loves to draw, so if I can just get her loads of different things that she can draw on, that'd be really, really good. So it's swipe clean and start again, easy to carry around as it has a handle, easy grip handles, ideal for little hands. And you use the little flower at the bottom to swipe it. She has a kind of pig one of these and she, the pen is good for that one. But see these animals here, they are the pens and I thought they'd be really good for her to grip onto. And she really loves these anyway. They're definitely something that she is going to use. This one, my first scribble, it was £24. But I thought it was really sweet. And Ava started using her pair of pig ones, so I thought maybe the pens would be good for Ava to grip on to, to get her to keep continuing wanting to draw and possibly try and get her to do some lines or circles. Okay, I think... So I've got one thing for Ava. As I said, Ava more enjoyed the experience than picking things up. I, I had to just pick things up and see if she liked it. And we went around the shop, especially entertainer, and I picked things up and showed her. But she was so into just being outside and the atmosphere. She wasn't really paying attention. So I did pick a few things up. Most of these like, for the girls are for both of them. And we're definitely going to go back again. But this one is definitely for Ava. It is a sensory sensory spheres rolling paint dough or clay to make fun patterns so as i said with with sky she really likes to draw and ava really likes paint and the feel of it so i thought these would be really good sensory wise to roll in the paint and draw with so you've got one that's got little stars and circles one that's got lines and one that's got holes I just thought it looked like a fun little toy, something that we can do together. It's for three years and over, good for creativity, fine and fine motor skills. Uh, you get three patterns to discover. As I said, it's rolling paint, dough or clay to create fun patterns. This one was £4.80, so can't go wrong with that, can you? She has got loads of sensory balls, but these ones are different as they're not so much to put in the mouth. It's more to fill with her hands. As she is, so with her being sensory based and she does use her mouth quite a lot, she does use her hands as well quite a lot. And I thought she can roll these around and she can make pictures and yeah, she'll hopefully like the feel of them as well. Okay, I think the rest is for Stan. 
uh, said this hall was, was basically style. He did very, very well. He's got another uh, action figure, Legend Series, The Punisher. I know who The Punisher is. Stylize this one, don't you, sir? Mm-hmm. Supposed to be the one from um, uh, the 90s, Spider-Man show. Yeah? Mm -hmm. So we've got a picture of him at the back as well. And this one, where's this one from? Is it Entertainer. Entertainer. So this one, what, yeah, it's £20 from the Entertainer. Such a cool little figure. I love with these figures as well that you get changeable heads and you get different uh, pieces that go with it. And also, like, you get little parts to make, um, uh, to make like, someone else. Like, sometimes if you get the whole collection of one yeah. series, you make someone, like, someone big. Like, you get arms and legs and heads. Yeah. I've seen that. So if you collect them, they make a whole different figure for you to, to, to draw. To draw, to put together. Right, back to Fortnite. We have got, what do you call that? Because I want to say Brat. Is it called Brat? Yeah, but you could just call it Johnny Hot Dog. Johnny Hot Dog. Okay, it says the brat on the front, but his name is Johnny Hot Dog, and he <laughs> is from uh, Fortnite. My partner really, really loves him as well. And this one, this is from Entertainer, wasn't it? Um, yeah, it was from Entertainer. Entertainer. Uh, I can't see him coming up. He, he's from Entertainer, I'm sure, but... Yeah. Uh -huh. Oh, there he is. He's £20. Johnny Hot Dog is £20. And you get... What else you can get? Other figures. So you can get P1000, Ghoul Trooper, Drift, Fish... Fish it, Sticks and Doggo. Doggo. <laughs> Don't they just have the weirdest names? And the, 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 the creations they come up with as well is just crazy. That's a hot dog with legs. I mean... A hot dog and his... And, um, his and he is... What? And he has guacamole for his um, uh, for his underneath. Oh dear, he does, doesn't he? Mm. And he wears sunglasses. This is just one pretty cool hot dog, isn't it? Mm. So it's for eight years and over, £20 entertainer shop. Another one to add to Stan's collection. He did get a few Fortnite uh, action figures for Christmas as well that I showed in a different video. Right, sticking with Fortnite again. So, Stan, what is this? Is it one of them... Supply drops. Supply drops. So, it's not a chest. No, it's... But, um, I don't think they have chests. That all I've ever seen online is um, uh, the ammo boxes and this. Okay. So, this is a... What do you call it, Stan? Supply drop. A supply drop. And it comes with... um, So, a backboard, double yeah. barrel, shotgun, infinity... A rifle, drum gun. So basically, like in the game, when you open the chest and things up, and they give you equipment, Stan can now do that for real for his action figures and have equipment for it. So this one is from an Entertainer, isn't it, Stan? Yeah, it's an Entertainer. I think it was seven. Most most of Fortnite stuff are from it. Seven pound for that. So when he's you know playing away with his action figures, he can give them. You know, all the equipment they need with these little boxes. They are pretty cool. I mean, it's pretty cool what you can buy from an actual game. And it actually looks like, you know, from the game as well. But that's what it did look like in Chapter 1. Yeah? Uh-huh, but I never really was there for that. No? No. Well, so I've got this now. Last thing that's in here, I think this is the last thing. We did get quite a lot of stuff. So my partner, when Stan was like, I'm going to say two... Two, I, I think it was three or four or three. No, two I think his I think his first one was so two and over. Um, he used to go to the shop um down in central London. I forgot what it's called, but he could buy plane sets and he would paint them for Stan and hang them on his ceiling. They very delicate and some of them have broken. And we found loads in the entertainer shop and we thought you know we could start doing this as you know, with Stan and Daddy together to do it. And we've got a starter set, RAF Red Arrows. RAF Red Arrows Nat. I'm going to get him <laughs> to say what they are, rubbish. But basically, you get a plane and you paint it and pull it together. That's the pieces, how it's supposed to look at the back. They had so many in there. If you're into this kind of thing, you know, building 
planes i think they there's do trains as well it's, it's a lot of really good things in there this one it is from the entertainer and it was 10 pounds so absolute bargain as well and something that hopefully stan will enjoy <laughs> exactly but i think he will i mean dad used to make this for him all the time he had so many just hanging off his ceiling with his ben 10 plane and he really, really liked them when he was younger so we're going to try to build up the collection again but they had loads of different ones in there Definitely recommend checking it out. This is your sort of thing. Hours of fun. Absolutely amazing. So this set includes a poly cement, paintbrush and four acrylic paints. I actually so. don't know if um, uh, the dark one is blue or black. I can't tell. I think it's supposed to be. It's supposed to be blue because of the Royal Air Force. I think it's navy. It? I think it's navy blue. It's quite dark. I okay. think it's navy blue. Makes sense for the Royal Navy. And it's official licensed product mm. at the back. And that, my lovelies, is the end of my letting the kids go crazy in the toy shops. As you can see, we did get quite a lot of stuff. Um, but they will absolutely love it and they're going to start playing with it now. If you like anything, I will put it in a, in a link in the description below for all of it. Hopefully I can find all of it online. I do when I do my descriptions panic that i'm not gonna find it and i said oh yeah i'll pull it in and it's not there um so yeah hopefully it'll all be there in my description below i hope you enjoyed today's video did you enjoy the video he likes to do videos with me i thought because most of it was stan it's better him explaining it than me explaining it because i i don't really know what i'm talking about do i with Fortnite and all that and he's he's a pro he knows what he's talking about yeah. but i hope you enjoyed the video <laughs> and if you did remember thumbs up like, subscribe, and I will see you in my next video, lovelies. Bye, guys. Say bye. Bye.